The lesson objective for this video is that students will find the surface area of pyramids and cones. So first we'll talk about pyramids. A pyramid has a base that is a polygon. We typically think of um, the bases as being squares, like the ones in Egypt, but actually a pyramid can have any polygon. It could be hexagonal, it could have an octagon on the bottom, it could have a dodecagon. Um, it's some sort of polygon. And it can also just be a triangle. Um, all right. The lateral faces with a pyramid are all triangles. And if it's a regular pyramid, what that means is that the base is a regular polygon. And of course, regular means it's equilateral and equiangular. And on that. The slant height is the height of one of the lateral faces. Okay, so looking at the figure over here, L right there represents my slant height. So if I want to find the surface area of a regular pyramid, and it's important you realize this only works for um, regular pyramids, um, it's going to be the base area, which is a polygon, plus the lateral areas, which are triangles. And so um, your polygon, depending on what sort of polygon it is, for instance, if it's more than four sides, say it's a pentagon or a um, octagon or any of those sort of polygons, you can use the one half times the base times height for the whole tri for each triangle times the number of sides, or if you use one half PA, you can use that. If it's a square. It's just going to be the side squared. And if the base is a triangle, it'd be one half base times height. And then <clears throat> for the triangles, you just take the number of triangles, however many there are, which is the number of sides of the base, of course, times the area, which is one half base times height. So really, you already know how to find surface area. It's just a matter of taking all the individual faces and adding them together. So in example one, we're going to first find the area of each lateral face, and then we're going to find the surface area of the entire pyramid. So for A, I'm going to find the area of a triangle, which of course is one half base times height. And so in my figure here, the base of my triangle is 20, because it's a square. It's regular. And um, the height, they gave me the slant height right here, is 30. And so half of 20 times 30, it comes out to 300 millimeters squared. So that's the area of just one of the triangles. Then if I want to find the total surface area, that means I've got the base plus the four triangles. So the base is a square, so it's 20 squared, and then 4 times the 300 that I found in the first part. So that gives us 400 plus 1,200, and so the total surface area would be 1,600 millimeters squared. Let's look at another example. Now I have a regular hexagonal pyramid, but we're going to do the same thing. First, we're going to find the area of the hexagon. The surface area is going to be the hexagon. And how many triangles? Six triangles. Okay, so let's find the hexagon first. All right. So they actually gave me the apothem already. 
the apophthegm is um, 4 root 3. And if the sides are 8 inches, then the perimeter is 8 times 6, or 48 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use 1 half PA on this one. So 1 half of 48 times the apothem of 4 root 3. And that comes out to approximately 166.28. Now I'm going to find the area of one of the triangles. Well, there's six triangles, so we'll go ahead and just do it that way. Six triangles, so it's going to be six times the one-half base times height. So we've got one-half base of this side triangle is the side length of eight, and the height is 18, the slant height. So six times one-half times 8 times 18 comes out to 432. And so if we add those together, we get our total surface area. It is 598.28. And that would be inches squared. All right, next we're going to look at cones. We're going to talk about the surface area of a right cone. So if it's a right cone, that means that um, this axis in the center has to be perpendicular. It's standing straight up. It's not leaning over. Okay. So the surface area is going to be the base area plus the lateral area. The base area is just a circle, so that's pi r squared. And then pi r l will give me the lateral area, where l is the slant height and then R is the radius of the base. So let's take a look at an example of that. We're going to find the surface area of this cone. So I know that surface area equals pi r squared plus pi r l. So pi times 3 squared plus pi times 3 times 5. So that's 9 pi plus 15 pi. The exact surface area would be 24 pi meters squared, and that would be approximately 75.4 meters squared. So depending on whether it asks for it exact or if it says to the nearest tenth, you can decide whether you want to leave pi in the answer or not. But either answer is correct in this case. All right, and one more. Now on this one, they only want us to find the lateral area. So make sure you always read the instructions carefully. They're not asking for the total surface area. They just want the lateral area, which is um, going to be pi RL. So the problem is I don't have L, so I need to find the slant height first. Well, that's a right triangle. I can use the Pythagorean theorem. 6 squared plus 8 squared is going to equal L squared. And it's actually a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So you can also take the shortcut and just know that it's going to be 10 because that's 2 times 5. But if you need to work it out all the way, that's fine too. Okay, so my lateral area is equal to 10. And so now I just have to do pi R L. So I have pi times my radius of 6, and my lateral slant height of 10. And so the lateral area would equal 60 pi, or approximately 188.5 feet squared. And that concludes this video. Thank you.